My name is Hugo Soleil and I run the segment marketing and industry development team uh, at Intel for technical computing, which is uh, the business that encompasses all of HPC and workstations. The, the first set of announcements were focused on uh, Intel re-architecting the fundamental building blocks uh, of HPC. The second one was uh, on how we're enabling the ecosystem to paralyze its codes um, uh, to take advantage of these new technologies. On the re-architecting of the building block, um, Raj made several key announcements on Knight's Landing, which is the next generation Xeon Pi processor, uh, and also on OmniScale. He announced the brand name uh, of that fabric, uh, as well as it being integrated into Knight's Landing. What's really interesting about Knight's Landing is uh, it fundamentally changes uh, the way um, folks will be using many core processors in the future. First and foremost, it is a processor. It's not a coprocessor, although it will be available in that form factor, but it essentially becomes the heart of the next generation server for HPC. Uh, it's a many core device. Um, the core uh, of the processor is being updated uh, to be the, uh, arc, uh, the Silvermont architecture, which is uh, uh, going to be shrunk down to 14 nanometers. We're improving the single-threaded performance of each one of those cores by three times versus the current generation coprocessor. Uh, we've also re-architected the memory subsystem. Uh, not only do we have uh, the onboard high bandwidth memory that we've talked about in the past, uh, that's a completely new memory that we've worked together with Micron to develop, uh, but also we have main system memory that's going to be based on DDR4, comparable bandwidths and capacities that you'd see on an average server. Uh, based on uh, Intel Xeon technology. Um, that combined with the integration of an end-to-end -end fabric onto the die itself completely changes the dynamics of the overall server uh, and how HPC is going to be able to use that product. Um, the reality is a whole variety of applications and users uh, that are looking for that massively parallel um, type of performance. So think of big science codes, some manufacturing codes, uh, definitely in oil and gas and financial services, uh, the rendering business. Um, really, we're, we're, we're looking at this as, as we re-architect this part uh, and, the, and the future of Xeon Phi, we're, we're, we're looking at ways uh, of standardizing this technology to make it applicable to just about any industry. Uh, again, what I was mentioning earlier about how this part now is a processor, it becomes the server node itself. No longer do you have to deal with offload uh, and all the inefficiencies that come from having to move your code from uh, the host processor to a coprocessor or an accelerator. Uh, that was part of the announcement. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, so Raj announced that the first commercial HPC uh, uh, clusters are going to be based off of Nice Landing, uh, second half of 2015.